Hey guys, Brian here. Thanks for joining me again today in the lab. New video coming your way. Today we are going to dig into eight tips to help feed picky geckos. Now we've all had that gecko that just doesn't seem to eat as much as the other ones we've got. The gecko that just, for whatever reason, is picky, doesn't like to eat, doesn't eat much food, maybe he's not eating any food at all. These are eight tips that I've tried and tested to help you get your picky geckos to start eating. Let's dig right into it with tip number one. All right, guys, my first tip for you today is feed a wide variety of foods. Now, a lot of people seem to notice some results that I do in this one. If you feed one food to your gecko over and over, eventually they stop eating it as much as they did in the beginning. I like to feed a wide variety of foods, change the flavors up, um, keep it somewhat consistent so they're used to the flavors and they're familiar with them, but change it up every once in a while so they get new flavors, new uh new scents that stimulate their appetites, give them something new to play with basically, and it'll keep them more interested in their food. So that's a good tip if you've got a picky gecko, try feeding it a different food, a different flavor. Maybe stick with the same brand but a different flavor so it's familiar with them. Give them things like that and put two or three different foods in your rotation. Roll through them every two or three feedings so they get a little bit of uh, variety. Helps keep them interested. These are all foods that I've got in my feeding rotation right now. We've got four flavors of Pangea, the breeder formula, watermelon, with insects, and papaya. I got two flavors of the new Zoomed food that we've been trying out that's in our rotation, and three flavors of the Rapashi, the regular CGD, the mango, and the Rapashi banana cream pie. So <clears throat> different uh, size geckos in our facility get different foods based on uh, their needs and their growth rates, but everything gets a variety, they get it mixed up, and it really helps with their feeding response. So, tip number one for your picky geckos, give them a variety, keep it interesting, make them more excited about their food. All right, tip number two for getting your picky geckos to eat. This one seems pretty obvious, but it's still a tip I like to give people because some people don't realize it affects the gecko's appetite, and that is cleaning their cage. Geckos don't like to eat when they live in a dirty home, so keeping their cage clean consistently boosts their appetite. When their cage gets really dirty, it starts to kill their appetite. They don't eat as much. So that's a good tip. You got a picky gecko doesn't eat, check his cage. Maybe if you're using paper towels or newspapers in the bottom of the cage, you need to switch that out. Scrub the bottom of the cage, get it nice and clean. If it's in a living vivarium, um, spot clean the soil. Maybe scrub the walls on the side of the cage, wash their food dishes, stuff like that. I never like to deep clean an entire cage because that then erases all of their scent and they're very scent oriented. So I always leave something, a branch, a hide, something that's not clean so they have a familiar scent. But the majority of the cage, keep it clean, keep it nice, happy geckos, clean homes. They have better appetites, they'll eat better for you. That's tip number two for getting your picky geckos to eat. Tip number three to get your picky geckos to eat. This is another one that not many people think about, but it seems kind of obvious after you hear it. Keep your geckos sheltered from your other pets. So many times I've had people tell me my gecko won't eat, I can't get it to eat. Come to find out that their cat sits on top of the gecko cage and stares through the screen watching their gecko all day long. The best way I had it put to me, this was explained to me by my vet years and years and years ago when I had my first ever gecko. I got a leopard gecko when I was in high school. He had trouble eating and this one of the tips my vet gave me was keep him away from your other pets. Keep him out of the living room where people are constantly walking right past him. He told me imagine if you lived in a glass house and there was always a 400 foot monster standing outside your window. How often are you going to sit down and eat dinner? Probably not very often. You're going to be pretty freaked out. Especially for new geckos and new homes. Keep them away from your other pets. Don't let your cats harass them. Your dogs stare through the cage at them. Keep your pets away from them. Keep them out of the line of sight with a lot of traffic, not next to the front door. They'll feel more comfortable in their house. More comfort means they'll eat better, better appetites, less picky. Your geckos will eat more. They'll be healthier and happier. That's tip number three. All right, moving right along to tip number four to get your picky geckos to eat, and that is increase the palatability of their food. 
One of my favorite ways to do that is to mix in a little bit of organic honey. Geckos love honey, it's healthy, it's really good for them. You don't need much. Uh, if you're feeding up one gecko's worth of food, just a drop or two of honey in there will do. You're mixing up food for maybe 10 or 20 geckos, a tablespoon or so. You don't need a lot of it, just a little bit of it makes the food a little bit sweeter. It doesn't mess with the nutritional contents very much, so your food is still good and healthy. Just makes the food a little sweeter, gives it a little more aroma, attracts the geckos a little more. It might be the key to get your picky gecko to start eating again. All right guys, tip number five to get your picky geckos to eat is to change the consistency of their food. Now, if you're feeding a good diet, chances are it's a prepared, powdered diet. You mix it with water and it makes basically, it's like a fruit smoothie for your geckos. Pangea, Rapashi, Black Panther Zoological, the new Zoomed foods, any of those are great foods. Feed those to your geckos, but it's important to get the consistency right. If your food's too thick, the geckos don't like to eat it. If the food's too watery, they maybe eat just a little bit of it, even if they are eating a lot of it, they're getting mostly water and not much nutrition. Uh, maybe they are eating it, but you can't tell because it's too watery. It's important to get the consistency right. So what you're looking for is the consistency of ketchup or maybe a milkshake. Right along those lines, it's a perfect consistency. And uh, it's important when you mix your food, let it sit for five minutes. Mix it up and then let it sit for five minutes and check the consistency. A lot of the foods get a lot thicker after they've sat for a few minutes. So when you mix it up, set it on the counter, let it sit there for a couple minutes and then check it again. If it's a little too thick, add a little bit of water to it. If it's a little too runny, add a little more food. Get your consistency right. That'll encourage your geckos to eat more and they'll be healthier. All right, everybody, here is tip number six. And this is a huge one that I use all the time that's been really, really helpful for me to get my geckos to eat more food. And that is to mix in treat foods to increase the palatability of the food you already feed them. Now, there's some foods that I love the nutritional content, I love the makeup of it, and I love what it does for my geckos, but they don't eat it as readily as they do some of the other foods. Now, the way I fix that is to mix in different flavors or treat foods into your diets to make them more palatable. I use the banana cream pie from Rapashi. Rapashi banana cream pie. I love this stuff. The flavor is incredible. It's not a complete diet, so you can't feed this just this to your geckos, but it's a great mix in. Alternatively, you can use the Pangea fruit mix, again, with the blue label. This is not a complete diet. They can't just eat this, but it's a great mix in. I've used this in the past. Currently, I use the Rapashi. They're both great, so you can substitute this for this for anything I'm going to tell you. Now, the first one that I do is the Pangea with insects. I love the Pangea with insects. The higher protein content with the insects is great for my young geckos. It boosts their growth rates. They get bigger bodied, healthier. They grow a little faster. I love this food for the young ones, but they don't eat as much of it as I would like. So I tend to mix it with the Pangea watermelon. Now I do about three parts insects and one part watermelon. You don't want to change it a lot. Just change the flavor a little bit, make it a little more palatable, make the flavor more appealing to them. Three parts to one part works great for my young geckos. The other thing I like to do is I love the traditional rapashi food. I've been feeding this since 2008 or something like that forever. Rapashi is the longest running food, the most trusted nutritionally. I love it, but the palatability is not great. They eat it, but they don't eat as much as I'd like. The way I fix that, I mix in a scoop or two of the banana cream pie. Not much, again, about three parts this to one part banana cream pie really boosts their appetite for it and they eat a lot more of it. I do the same thing with the Pangea breeder formula. I love the breeder formula for my breeders, especially my girls, really helps them gain weight, gain calcium, stay nice and healthy through breeding season when it's hard on their bodies laying all those eggs. But again, the palatability goes down. They don't eat as much of this as I would like. So I mix it with the banana cream pie and these two mixed together, I get great results. Again, three parts breeder, one part banana cream pie, really changes how much of it they eat, how much they enjoy it. Great results, I love it. The other thing you can do if you just have a picky gecko, maybe you got a new gecko and he's not used to the kind of food you have, 
you can mix more of the banana cream pie or more of the Pangea treat food in and do a 50-50 mix. Really put a lot of the treat food in there to start with and that will entice them to eat more of that food. They'll eat more of it and then you slowly back it off. So for the first week do 50-50 and then the second week do a 60-40 mix and then a 70-30 and get it down to where you're barely putting any of the treat food in and it gradually brings them down. They start eating the healthier diets. It's a really, really good way to get picky geckos to eat. I do this all the time with new geckos we get in or just ones that aren't eating very well, maybe girls that didn't handle breeding season too well and aren't eating very much and are getting kind of skinny. I use this trick all the time. It works great. It's a great trick to get your picky geckos to eat, especially new geckos that are getting acclimated to your home. All right guys, we're cruising right through this, rolling along. Let's get to tip number seven, and that is to separate your geckos. A lot of people have geckos that live together, and in a lot of cases, that's perfectly fine. But sometimes, one gecko's not eating as much. One gecko's not getting allowed to eat as much by the other geckos. Anything can happen. One of them starts looking a little skinny. I get people that tell me all the time, oh, one of my females in my breeder group is picky. She just doesn't eat. A lot of the times the answer to that is she's not picky, she's not being allowed to eat. So separating those geckos, um, it allows the girl, maybe she's just getting harassed by the male who wants to breed all the time. Separating them, that girl's allowed more access to the food, or sometimes it's even the other females will bully one girl and not let her eat. So you'll have two or three really healthy looking geckos in a cage and one who's looking pretty skinny and isn't getting as much food. She's not really picky, she's just not being allowed to eat. So separating your geckos, if you're having any issues at all, a good way to get them to start eating again at that point too you can take the girl who's having a little bit of issues and use one of the tricks we talked about earlier put a little honey in her food mix in some of the treat foods put her in a nice clean cage keep her isolated so she feels more safe any of those tricks help her get more food intake she'll plump right up get good and healthy again good way to get your geckos to eat just separate them i always tell people if you have more than one gecko living in a cage that's fine but make sure you've got cages to separate them if you need to that's tip number seven All right, everybody, we have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Real quick, before we get into our last tip, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us here, follow us on Facebook, check out our website. We got all kinds of gecko stuff coming up for you. More geckos for sale, more videos, more educational videos, all kinds of things planned. Stay tuned, we love seeing you around, but let's get back to it. Our last tip, number eight, and that is to keep an eye on your gecko's environment. A lot of time picky eaters, it's not the food they're picky about, it's their habitat. If the gecko's habitat isn't set right, they don't like to eat as much, they're uncomfortable. So check your temperatures, are they too hot, are they getting too cold at night? Remember, these geckos are mostly active just after sunset and just before sunrise. So if they get really cold in the dark when it's colder in your house, they're not gonna eat as much. Cold temperatures means lower metabolism, lower metabolism means lower appetite. Check your temperatures, make sure your setup's okay. Is their humidity okay? Are they really dried out? Are they constantly wet? Do they have a humid hide? So if it's a dry, you live in a dry area, like I live in Colorado, it's incredibly dry here. Um, humid hides are very important. Give your gecko somewhere to go in and get humid again. Little things like that. Make sure their environment is okay. If their environment is good, they're gonna eat. If something's a little off with their environment and you can tweak things a little bit, make them more comfortable, their appetite's gonna go up. That's another great tip to get your geckos to eat. That's our last tip for the day. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Um, I hope this helps you out. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys, and we will see you soon.